This is an infrared drone, and this is a solar farm, and we're going to be inspecting it. Let's fly. How's it going, everyone? This is John from The Drone Life. It's a gorgeous Saturday today, 80 degrees, and we're gonna be flying some solar. So let's get into it. So today we have the drone and we have the cart. So the cart is a big hack. I love this thing. So pretty much this farm is like a half mile walk away and you can't get to it by car. So being able to put my 60 pound drone case and then all my accessories into this cart and just pull it like a wagon. It's awesome. I got my all-terrain tires and it makes it just so easy. It's a one, it's a, you know, one-way trip. It's a fairly small system we're going to be looking at today. So we should be able to complete this with just one set of batteries. So right here I have my DJI Matrice 210V2 drone. And then below, right here we have the infrared or thermal camera. So this is a DJI Zemus X-T2. And then we're gonna be, uh, today we're gonna be using the iPad with the, with the sentence controller. Um, not using the Crystal Sky monitor, because uh, the iPad can run GS Pro. Uh, which is an app uh, for flight planning, which is one of the best ones for doing solar. Okay, so pre-flight checklist done. We're going to click on fly. Everything looks good. Now we're going to press start to fly. And the drone is taking off. As you can see, the drone is now flying the rows of panels autonomously. And so it's taking uh, all these periodic images and what's gonna happen later is I'm gonna put bring all these images and put them into a post-processing software that will analyze them and look for uh, the different faults in the panels and then some other things that those that software does is it creates actually a map so it takes uh, you can either do an ortho mosaic um, or take satellite imagery of the solar system and it also makes a numbering scheme um, of all the panels and so it makes it really easy to locate exactly where the faults are. This inspection will only take around four or five minutes to complete, which is crazy compared to traditional methods of you know manually doing it. And it's just interesting to see how far this drone technology has really come. Of course, there's still some post-processing that we do have to do. That's probably take like an hour or two, but overall, you know, using drones to inspect these farms, especially like the really large scale ones, there's just so much reduction uh, and time saving there. And it's, it's awesome to see this type of new technology being implemented in these unique ways. Now on the screen, I'm gonna put up some photos that were just captured. So you can see the infrared ones, and then the RGB, which is basically just a regular picture. And these are taken at the, taken at the same exact time. What's really nice about having both of these is you can compare between the two. So say uh, one panel came up with soiling issues, well you can go back and track that photo and see, oh well maybe it was just some bird droppings on the panel, which you know will easily be uh, cleaned off next time it rains. So having both of these images at the, um, for e simultaneously makes it really easy uh, to compare and really distinguish what type of anomaly uh, we're looking at. And so we're just finishing up our last pass, and now the drone is done. And so now we're just going to fly it back to the landing point. And that concludes today's inspection. But make sure you take a look in the video description, where I'm going to be sharing with you some free downloadable PDFs that talk about manual inspections versus drone inspections, how drones are saving solar companies money, as well as the costs associated with using drones for your PV system inspections. If you have any more questions about drones and solar, feel free to message me on LinkedIn or my website. 
I appreciate you watching today's video and I'll talk to you soon.